Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our political discussion. And outside here, there is what we call a narrative, which is actually being pushed by some critics who believe that there is a rift between President William Samoy Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashawa. Many people say that President William Samuel Ruto is actually following a script from what was done to him by President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Remember, during the time of President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, he actually pushed out William Samuel Ruto and he could not assign him any job to do because it was the president or it is still the president who assigns the deputy any job to do and if the deputy is not assigned any job that means he could not have anything to do and people are saying that because all Mugai Kenyatta did that to William Samuel Ruto who was by then his deputy this made the two individual to have a lift and finally they departed different ways being that at the end Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta was able to support Raila Amolo Odinga for presidency and he said that he couldn't prefer William Samuel Ruto to take the high seat of the nation and he preferred Raila Amolo Odinga. So people are saying that also William Samuel Ruto is following the same projection because he is assigning more roles to the Prime Secretary Musalia Mudavadi other than Rigathi Gashawa. And now Rigathi Gashawa does not have substantial roles which actually he can do. And those critics, they believe that there is a big rift between these two individuals. And that's why, even recently, when we add what we call the change of cabinet secretaries, that means there was a reshuffle. The people who were affected were from the mountain. That means uh, Moses Kuria and Wahome. And because of that, many people are interpreting that, that the person who is at the losing end is not other than the deputy president, Rigathi Gashawa. And at the same, same time, recently, when President William Samuel Ruto was having four days tour in the Nyansa region, he was not accompanied by Rigathi Gashawa or those people who follow Rigathi Gashawa. And President William Samuel Ruto came out strongly when he was actually having uh, those four days feast to Nyanza and also to the Luo Nyanza. He said that the people from Luo Nyanza will be served equally as any person in the Republic of Kenya. And they must know that this government belongs to them, even if they never voted for William Samuel Ruto. And also, Rigafi Gashawa has always 
told the nation that this government is like a share holding. If you never had put in more shares, that means you don't expect much from it. And therefore, because of that kind of message from the president in Nyanza province when he had that uh, four-day tour and the stand by Rigi, many people have interpreted that as a rift between the two individuals. And they are actually reading the country into different directions. But when I analyze those incidents, I can say for sure there is no lift between two, these two individuals. Because what the president was saying when he was having his four days to us in Nyanza, he was saying that the government actually will offer services to all Kenyans. That is what Mary, what the president says. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter whether you voted for William Samuel Ruto or you never voted for William Samuel Ruto. The government over services equally. That is what the president had to say when he was in Luanyanza. And what always Rigathi Gashawa said that it is people who believed in William Samuel Ruto who are going to offer services to the Kenyans. And that means the formation of William Samuel Ruto's government, the people who will be included, they must be the people of Kenya Kwanzaa who believes in the agenda of William Samuel Ruto to the government. And for those people, they must have put shares, they must have believed in the, in the president, and they must have fought for William Samuel Ruto. So it is very clear that what the president is talking about is different. It's about the services to the Kenyans. And what Sirigathi is talking about is about the formation of the, of the government, which actually will go and give services free, freely to the entire nation. So I can tell the Kenyans that for sure there is no rift between Rigathi Gashawa and President William Samuel Ruto. And if they will be a lift for sure. The president will lose a lot, and he knows that. And that means he cannot go forward to encourage having a lift between him and his deputy because already he knows what happened to Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta when there was a lift between the two individuals. So, my followers, for me, I believe there is no lift. It's because they are thinking from different angles. President William Samuel Ruto talks from the, that aspect of delivery of the service to the all Kenyans. And Rigathi Gashawa is actually correct because he was talking or he has been talking about the composition of the government. For example, in the U.S., you cannot find that people who are from the side of the, let's say, the Republican going to be given jobs which are supposed to be deliver, delivering um, uh, what we call services to the people of America from the Democrat side. It does not happen. It is the Democrat which makes the government and it must bring in people who, who believe in democratic things. So there is no rift between these two individuals. If people are leading uh, that, I think that is it's not correct. And we are going to be there to see what will happen at the end. So that is my opinion.
What about your opinion? Do you believe that there is a big rift between President William Samuel Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa? Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for those ones who have subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis. And with that, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly until we meet in our next political conversation. Bye.